Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ghost, and today we're playing some Modern Warfare 2 Free For All on Scrapyard. But instead of the regular Xbox 360 gameplay that you have always seen on my channel for years, this is a PlayStation 3 game. Now, as of right now, I think I have one PlayStation 3 anything on my channel, so I figured I would change that a little bit. But, there are some downsides, but before I get into that, let me mention that this game in particular is not quite a quote-unquote YouTube-worthy game in the eyes of most people but in my eyes I find it is the final score KD wise is okay it's a 30 and 5 but the time duration is 3 minutes and 30 seconds and from what I've learned from you guys and what I like to watch on YouTube it's a fast game regardless of KD so that's what I like to upload on this channel from time to time instead of like a 30 and 1 that's like 7 or 8 minutes I find these gameplays a lot more entertaining and hopefully you do also now, to the downsides of me playing on the PlayStation 3 that I've mentioned before is the controller. I'm still learning the, you know, button placements. It's just very weird from an Xbox player to go to a PlayStation 3 controller after years of using an Xbox controller, but I'm slowly learning it. You can see and uh, you can notice that my aim is slowly getting on point. And I've been playing it for about two nights now, and I think I'm going to play it tonight and attempt to get some gameplays for you. But the biggest downside of it is somewhere in between my monitor which is HDMI out which goes into a converter to component to my PlayStation 3 it's fairly complicated if you're not tech savvy you're probably like I have no idea what you're talking about bro but between that there's somewhere a short or something is not transferring correctly because when I'm playing games and more often that it's Modern Warfare either two or three my monitor will cut out for a good one to two seconds. It would just go completely black. I can still hear game audio through my headset, but the screen just goes completely black. So if you ever notice me in one of these PlayStation 3 gameplays, lay down and knife. <laughs> I know it's very weird, but that is basically some form of symbolism of me going, oh fuck, my monitor is out. So a great example is last night I was playing a free for all on Modern Warfare 3 and I'm running around I'm using the Type 95 because I'm a huge noob I think I'm like a level 23 or something very low level and my monitor kept going out like every 8 seconds and it was really unfortunate because at the time I was using Specialist and I was 21 and 0 and it just kept on cutting out and I was getting so frustrated that I was about to rage and throw my controller through the television it was bad so I'm running around I get to the score 20 and 0 with this monitor consistently cutting out like every 8 to 12 seconds and I finally get buzz killed and I was so irritated but you know it's all good the final score was still a 30 and 3 and I might just post it just to show you the uh, the, the good old lay down and knife <laughs> the symbolism of my monitor going out it's kind of unfortunate because I'm missing out on some really good gameplays because that and I'm not really sure what it is. It's not a loose wire. I unhooked everything, hooked it back in. I just believe that somewhere in between the wiring, there's just some kind of miscommunication somehow. And it's kind of hard to pinpoint because there are a lot of wires hooked up with my setup. And it's unfortunate. It's got to be something because also when I'm playing games, you can see these little purple lines like almost like a progressive scan just keep on going down they're very slight and very faint but those are my problems with PlayStation 3 thanks for watching guys uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it peace out